This is the Alt Car Expo in Santa Monica, and is first the first is, is tape is General Motors snowing the general public. Uh, the General Motors person is telling people that they'll have a fuel cell car for sale by 2010 in the price range of $30,000, which is, is ridiculous. No one dreams that the cost of a 78 kilowatt fuel cell could come down even to $500 a kilowatt, which would make it $39,000 for the fuel cell stack alone. So this is the GM fuel cell? This is the hydrogen fuel cell. So how much does it cost? But it is in the GM family, so what we made is affordable for the average consumer to Will you sell it? Um, we hope to um, by 2010, 2011. This is just a production model. Well, what kind of price would it have? Um, probably the thirty to $40,000 range. But how can you do that when the fuel cell costs $300,000? You no, know, I'm not sure. <laughs> There's still a ton Take a loss on it, right? could take a loss on each one. Yeah, sell it for because if I could buy one, I'd take the fuel cell out and sell it. And then put it convert the rest of it to batteries. Because I could get maybe a hundred thousand for the fuel cell. It's a seventy eight kilowatt fuel cell? I'm not sure. How big is the battery pack in it? Because it's got a battery. This is just a mock-up, right? This is a production model. Does it actually run? Yes, we have uh, models that do work. But this one does. This is not on the oh. But I mean, does it actually, does this one actually, can you charge it up with hydrogen? Yes, does it have you tanks? can. You can. Um, this one does run. But I'm a little <laughs> cautious to, Pardon? to, I'm a little cautious to speak just because we're on camera. Um, I'm, I'm filming GM, this. I'm not a GM spokesperson, so. You're anonymous. Yes. I have the nerve to bring in the shell of an EV1. The American car companies to leapfrog what's out there and return to the leadership role. Right. So how is that, what's the culture around that in like GM? Like are they well, thinking that way or like is that an idea that's well, being sure. about? I mean, sure, yes. I mean, we have to learn from the past and sort of embrace it. And for GM, to, I mean, we're in the midst of a huge transformation. Um, that is taking our company from one that's for the last hundred years has been based on mechanically driven products towards one that will eventually be based. So, so that's the wrap. General Motors is, is chewing its oil-based past and is preparing for the electrical future and is, is prepared to make a transformation to the electrical uh, transportation matrix of the future. That's the wrap. Is it true? You know, is, is it really intending to build a bolt? Well, what about the case of the Western Washington University EV1, which volunteer engineers restored to fully production, a fully capable electric car using uh, exactly the same materials that were used in the original EV1? So they, they created this EV1 that was gutted and destroyed and put into a museum or a university. They created it as a, as a reconstructed EV1 by dint of genius work over over many, many, many hours of combined effort. And now they apparently can't show it because Western Washington University has been warned that if they bring it to light as a real EV, it will be taken away and crushed. Meanwhile, General Motors trots out this uh, pitiful shell of an EV-1 that was donated to the Peterson Museum with the motor controller and wires and the battery pack and all of the other controls taken away and this was the EV that actually Chris Trexler drove across the U.S. in his uh, Charge Across America. It's a 1997 EV1 with a 90-mile range. And all we see is the gutted shell. Now, will GM allow the Western Washington University uh, EV1 to see the light of day? I mean, this is a fully restored, fully functional EV with uh, EV1. And here it is. I mean, GM could trot this around and show this is what we had. Instead, they're suppressing it. <laughs> Ask Western Washington University to call me. And you'll, I'll you'll, out a way. you'll get their car on the street. I'll figure out a way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Dave Barthmas All from right. General Motors. So do we believe General Motors? You know, they have this phony fuel cell, which the, the people that, that presenting it are, are spinning tales that just aren't true. And we have the gutted hull of an EV-1.
and we have this uh, the claimed someday future of the Volt, which is really just a 40 mile EV with a range extender. A 40 mile range EV isn't isn't hard to do. The EV1 with uh, nickel metal hydride batteries went up to 160 miles on a charge. Going 40 miles with an EV, having a range extending genset, it's not a big deal. So who who's going to believe General Motors? Well. Uh, now we have them saying that they'll find a way to get the Western Washington University uh, EV1 on the street. Uh, at least they'll they'll try to do that. So we'll we'll see if there's any reality to this. Myself, you know, the, the jury's out. Until General Motors comes out with a car, an EV that you can actually plug in uh, at a reasonable price, then I'm I'm not going to believe it. You know, we had the EV1. They destroyed it. I don't believe anything they're doing until they produce a car. 